360 makes quick fix videos. This is a JBL Eon. I believe it's a 510. 510, this one came in with no sound. So let's see what's going on with this. Here's the internal of the JBL 500 series Eon. You have the uh, woofer here and you have the high compression tweeter and you have the amplifier. I already plugged it in uh, and I noticed that there is uh, sound coming out of here. The voltages are fine, so the amplifier is definitely not shorted. Uh, woofer is working perfect, but we have a problem over here with the tweeter, so we're going to go check that guy out. So we know definitely that the uh, driver is uh, the culprit. We don't have any sound coming from it, so we're going to go ahead and, and check it with a voltmeter or a multimeter. Uh, this is set to ohms, and we should get around 4 to 8 ohms here, and let's see what we got. We got one, which means it's open, it's completely open. That means this is the problem. So we're gonna go ahead and replace this. And here is a brand new JBL driver that we're gonna be replacing. This is an original JBL driver directly from JBL. I do offer the, uh, you know, to get an aftermarket one, but I like to replace stuff with the originals. Uh, one thing I had noticed uh, several years of, of working with these is that they don't put lock washers on their, on their um, drivers. And what happens is with the base and throughout the years, they come loose and you know this starts rattling and, and it'll break the circuit on, on the coil. So what I do is I uh, after I take it apart and apply a little bit more ferrofluid, which I'm gonna explain to you what that does, um, I put Loctite on these screws and that'll keep it together and it won't come loose. All right, guys, so I'm gonna add something a little extra here because this is one of the things that, uh, that always gets me, these engineers, they just don't do things the right way. Um, this is an original JBL driver, and this is the voice coil. If you see these coils right here, the little gold bands, that's a thin wire that's connected to the terminals on each side. The ferrofluid, which is that one right there, um, it comes with the ferrofluid inside already. And what the ferrofluid does, it just dissipates the heat from the voice coil. And let me show you something. Notice how clean that is there. And if I turn it around, see how it gets darker? See how dark it is there on the top? Let me turn it back. Okay, that right there, that dark part, it's actually the liquid, the ferrofluid. That should be nice and covered. Notice that on this side, there's no ferrofluid. What's what's going to happen is that this is going to heat up. This side is going to get cool, uh, uh, cooled properly, but this side is not. So you're gonna have a fault here. This is eventually gonna fail right there. This is supposed to be completely filled with ferrofluid and it's not. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more and that will keep it from uh, getting hot or dissipate the heat better into onto the magnet and make this tweeter last longer. Had to add that in because again, when I do the repair, it's gonna last way longer than the original spec. And here's the upgrade that I did. It is completely now covered with ferrofluid all the way around. So this is going to last you a long, long time. Dissipating the heat into the magnet structure, that's what you want. Okay, so now we have the, uh, the tweeter assembled once again. And now when we check it, we have 4.5, 4.6 ohms. We are good to go. Now that we're done with the repair, we're going to go ahead and test it with this nice mixer that also was in for repair and now it is being sold. The DJM 900 Nexus Limited Edition. We're going to test it with a little Tribe Call Quest directly from vinyl. So let's go ahead and test that. Oh, yes. There we go. We got some tweeters now. So if you guys have any equipment that needs repaired and you want to repair the right way, call me up. Your ears, so I be sublime. It's enjoyable to know you in the concubines. Niggas, take off your coats. Ladies, act like gems. Sit down. Indian styles, you recite these hymns. 